You've just clicked on, am I having a heart attack? I can't believe you're doing this. As a healthcare professional, I don't think this is a wise way, wise course of action to go. However, since you're here, let's go through the list. First of all, are you having sudden nausea? Are you having vomiting? Are you having dizziness? Do you feel like you're gonna faint? Are you having this unusual crushing sensation or fatigue? Are you having cold sweats? If so, my gosh, stop the video, call 911, please. It's an emergency room, they won't be mad, this is what they do. If your pain is more spread out, if it's harder to localize, that's more indicative of a heart attack, call 911. Have you been through a physical, emotional stress? If that's the case, it's probably a heart attack and you should call 911. If the pain has come on over a long period of time, it might be a heart attack. If it came on acutely, a sharp pain, all of a sudden, and then goes away just as quickly, it probably isn't a heart attack and keep watching. Does it feel like an elephant is sitting on your chest? This is a classic example of how people talk about when they talk about heart attack. You should call 911. If it feel like someone took a knife and stabbed it into your arm or stabbed it into your chest, it's a sh it's sharp pain, it's very likely it's not a heart attack. One of the key things is can you reduplicate the pain? Can you make it go away? If you can, it's likely not a heart attack. Congratulations, if you've made it this far, you're either stubborn as a mule and you should be going to the hospital and you know you should and you're not, or you're not having a heart attack, in which case the question has to come up, what is it if it's not a heart attack? I'm going to answer that question for you. I'm Dr. Michael Bergla, and I'm so glad you're still around. So you're not having a heart attack, but what is it? You all had like heartburn sensations. If it's indigestion, it should get better if you take some Tums. It should get better if you um, eat something. You know what things would make that better. That's an easy one to solve. The other ones are really hard. What if it's chest pain? Well, here's the thing. If yesterday you just did 50 push-ups or bench presses, you're, these are pec muscles. They could be sore. It's easy to figure out. You just have to take in your hand and just, and just feel do these muscles, are they sore when I poke at them? Now also in your chest you have ribs. You have a breastbone here, always also called the sternum, and you have ribs that attach into that. These ribs are, make a joint. Just like you can have joint pain on your thumb, or in your neck, or in your knee, you can have joint pain in the costosternal joints, the, where the rib articulates with the sternum. And that's an easily solvable problem if you go to a chiropractor or a physical therapist or even a massage therapist that specializes in that kind of thing. There's also, you can have shoulder pain. If I can sit here and lift my arm up and it increases the pain when I lift it up and I leave it down my side, eventually the pain goes away. And I, every time I do this, pain comes in, it's not a heart attack. So that's the good news is we just have to figure out how to fix this shoulder. Again, I'm so happy you didn't have a heart attack. Thank you for ending this video with me, and uh, I welcome you back anytime to Common Sense Medicine.